Good evening, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm here with Amy and Charmaine and Ian. And uh, we have a list of people here that we would like to minister to today. <laughs> All right. Now I want to minister to Christina. All right, Christina, uh, the Lord shows me how you're playing chess. And now you need to get a strategy from God how to move forward with this chess game. And I felt that the Lord gives you the step for uh, next month and a month after and a month after. And it's really blueprints from heaven, strategies from heaven, and even joy that the Lord is releasing to you. And then I saw a cup. And now that cup runs over, and the Lord reminds me of Psalm 23, where, where uh, David says, My cup runs over. God bless you. Uh, Christina, God loves you so much. I saw how God showed me like He's giving you a whole new wardrobe. And I felt like with this wardrobe, it's like your whole image changed. I felt like when you when you walk into a room, how everybody just sees the light of Jesus inside of you, the light shining through you. And I just felt like how Jesus shows me like you, He's going to place you in crowds where you're going to be where people are going to be attracted by, to you because um, they, they're going to see the light of Jesus inside of you. But then I see how like when people come to you, how God just like opens up inside of you the ability to minister to people, to counsel, to pe to give counsel to people. And it just, show, it just shows me as well how God shows me that you're going to have the wisdom and you're going to have the revelations to give people answer, answers and to just to, to, show, to share with uh, people how uh, the revelations and the things that God is doing in your life. Be blessed. Thank you, Christina, for being here. Please remember, write us a comment. The next one is for Jazz. Jazz, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of where the Lord is the vine and we, you are the branches. And I just see how the nourishment comes from the ground and it's being transported to these, it looks dead and dry branches. Mm -hmm. But it is normally in wintertime, uh, grapes don't grow. Uh, they look dead. And I just see it, that's how you feel. But the nourishment comes in. Now, the first nourishment that comes in in the beginning of the season is like water. It's very, it moves very quickly. So I just see how the Lord says, I'm soaking you in my goodness for a revival to take place inside of you. And because of that revival, suddenly you're going to start to bloom and bear fruit again in your life. And I just see how the Lord says, don't focus on what is past. Put your focus on what is to happen. Be blessed. Amen, Jazz. I really feel how the Lord has given you this blueprint and plan, and there's two ways of how you can do this. You can do it in joy or do it in stressing. And I just feel how the Lord is really calling you to walk more in His joy, and I just see how you're smiling more often, and I just feel the Lord is really bringing beauty from ashes, whatever it was, what, what really killed your joy. God is removing that, and God is really giving you such supernatural joy in this time where you're going to smile more, laugh more, and I really feel it's going to help you so much if you're calling. And I see on the Spirit of God has given you a rod and a staff, and how the Lord says, I'm with you, and just like how victorious David was with, the, with um, Goliath, I just feel how the Lord is really giving you that boldness, and, he, and He's really giving you this mantle for this. So um, the Lord says, don't fear, and you will conquer that giant. God bless you. Hey, Jess, God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Ori. Uh, Ori, I, I just see miracle working power being poured over your life. Yes. And I felt that is for healing, is for finances, and it's for relationships in family. And I really felt that the Lord says He's helping you to focus and to see Jesus clearly, uh, to see the hope and the plan that He has for you, and uh, not to uh, lose focus. And although there's a lot of noise uh, to the left and the right, but you keep your eyes on Him, and He's just doing miracle after miracle for you. God bless you, Ari. Ari, God says that He wants to spend time with you in your garden. I see like how God shows me like when you're spending time in your garden, how God shows me that you must take out all the wheat, all the old things, all the things that not should, should not be there. I feel like how God is saying this is the season now to change your garden, to like change the layout. I feel like how God shows me like how you need to plant new things in your garden. You just need to like put more color in your garden. And I just felt like how God shows me that when you're finished in your garden, but you need to spend your time in the garden with Him. But when you're finished in the garden, how God shows me that He lets the rain come down on your garden. Be blessed. 
Thank you, Ori, for being here. Please remember, write us a comment. The next one is for Ifichuku. Ifichuku, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a locomotive, but this old steam locomotive where uh, when they started up, lots of times it's just spinning and it moves a little bit and then it spins and then it moves a little bit. And I just see how the Lord says, I am starting to give you momentum. So even though you're still feeling like you're slipping and you're not getting it right, you're gaining momentum and that is the important part, the momentum. So don't quit, don't give up, don't be frustrated, just push through. I see how the Lord says, uh, He gives uh, <coughs> enough power for what is needed for you to gain the momentum. And once you are on full momentum, the Lord's going to give you full power so that you can move. And then you're going to feel like, yes, this is where I need to be. Be blessed. Amen. If it's you, I, I just feel the Lord has really called you to be a first year of men. I just feel the Lord says, I'm, I'm placing you in the school of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is going to be your teacher. And I see how the Holy Spirit is giving you a lot of gold stickers for everything that you do. When you, those little things, when you're walking in obedience of God, just see how God is giving you a gold sticker, a gold sticker. And I just feel the Lord is really placing such a, such, he's called you to be such a gentle warrior. So I just feel there's such a gentle strength. And I, and, and I see how you look at previous leaders and how the Lord that's like your ceiling and how the Lord says you are going to grow from that and then you're going to raise up the next generation you're going to be a ceiling um, they're, 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 they're floor for them and I just feel the Lord says that you are going to break the chains of limitation and you are really I, I just see how the Lord is really giving you these medals gold stickers how the Lord is really really going to be such an amazing um, example to you of how you're going to raise up young people and be a leader to them yeah God is very proud of you. God loves you. Hey, Ifishuku, God bless you. The Lord is putting a healing anointing on your life. When you touch people, they shall be healed. Okay, God bless you. So, Brenda, uh, the Lord shows me two things. The first is a ladder, and that ladder is an encounter with God. And then, as you go on, the Lord trade with you your small tires on your car, and you get like these big tires. And then I see you bring the big tires from heaven and you put it on the car there in the back wheels. And then suddenly you you don't struggle to have acceleration because you have a lot of traction. And I felt that the Lord says the more encounters you have with him, the more traction you're going to have in the ministry that he's called you to walk in. God bless you. Brenda, what I got for you, God showed me like you're operating in Windows 7 at the moment. So... It's kind of weird what I saw for you, but God showed me it's time to start oh, to, to think about an upgrade. God says like your operating system and your whole system needs to be upgraded. And I just felt like oh, God is showing me there's lots of new things in this upgrade that's going to help you. It's going to be make you more effective. And I just felt like oh, God is saying that you need to like change your mind, change your perspective over things. I feel like how oh, God shows me like you're, you're like stuck in this rut, stuck in this like or, um, kind of religious system that you've like this is the way we've always been done it but God says that he wants you to think about change he wants you like to change your mind over things he wants you to like just think about new things I feel like how God shows you he wants he wants you to um, upgrade be blessed thank you Brenda for being here please remember write us a comment the next word is for April April, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture uh, that you need to be careful for religion, um, but rather meditate upon the Word of God. Meditate about the thoughts that God has got for your life. I see it's very clearly that you need to meditate what God shows you. So take some time when the Lord shows you something, meditate upon it, meaning think about that thing over and over again so that you can see what the Lord wants you to know. But the more you think of what God wants you to think, that is where the renewal process will take place uh, of renewing your mind. Renewing not to what you think and what other religions say, what you're supposed to think, but that you're actually thinking about what God wants you to think. Be blessed. Amen. Um, April, the picture God showed me for you was how you were in a car and you're driving and now you need to go through this drawbridge. Um, and I just feel how you have such a boldness. It's like, you know, in the movies where the drawbridge is basically going up and then the car goes over and then it lands. And I just feel how you're like ready to do that. And I just feel the Lord says, no, it's, it's not the time to do it. You got to be patient and wait for the bridge to be ready so that you can come across. So I just feel the Lord says that I'm giving you patience. I don't want you to do that. And I just feel the Lord says that 
in his perfect time, he'll tell you when to do bold moves like that. But the Lord says, not yet. The Lord says, walk in my patience, um, in, in my wisdom. And then April, I just feel how the Lord also gave, gave you an anointing for your hands, how you raise your hands in worship and you glorify the Lord. And I just feel God is blessing the works in your, of your hands of everything that you do. And also you're going to pray for people and people are going to get healed. I just feel God is really anointing your hands. God loves you. God bless you. Hey, April, God bless you. Uh, next word is for Lawrence. So Lawrence, the Lord shows me a hospital uh, and you're like a nurse or a doctor that's working there. Uh, but you guys have a very sick patient and you need to heal this patient. And now uh, you, you do a double and a triple shift. Instead of working 12 hours and going home, you're working 24, even 36 hours. And you really push through and you help this patient and make sure that they're well taken care of. And then the, the fever break and the patient gets better. Uh, and then finally, the, uh, there's full restoration. And I just felt that the Lord says, this is not a time of rest or a time to give up or to uh, be frustrated. But this is a time to push through and to overcome. The Lord is with you. He's, he's putting His blessing upon you. He's giving you resources. He's giving you the wisdom. And you will overcome. You will be victorious. God bless you, Lawrence. Lawrence, what I saw for you, I saw how God shows me that you've been equipped with a bow and arrow. But I saw like how the arrows that you were using, is they were like kind of skewed. They weren't like very accurate arrows. And I just felt like how God says, trade that um, skew arrows for straight arrows. And I felt like when you got the straight arrows, how God showed me that each and every time you hit the target and I just felt like how God shows me that arrows is the word of God that you're speaking that arrows that uh, the, the the skew arrows I felt like how that was negative things or things that was not of God or just things that were not supposed to be spoken that it was spoken so you didn't hit the target with those but when you traded it for the straight and right arrows that God is equipping you with each and every time you'll hit the target be blessed Thank you, Lawrence, for being here. Please remember, write us a comment. It's nice to hear from you. The next word is for Malvina. Malvina, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of multiple rivers that's connected to your mind. And I see how the Lord is giving you lots of ideas, lots of thoughts to think about. And I just see how this will start to turn into streams of income. And I just see how the Lord says, I am your provider. He brings the nourishment. And I just see how... Uh, there's cares that's been taken away that the Lord will provide for you. I just see you don't need to folk, need to care about that. You just need to realize that God is there for you and how He's, he's caring a lot about you. And I just see uh, because you're obedient, because you're listening, uh, how there's a breakthrough in your life that you will start to understand all of these ideas. Be blessed. Amen, Malvina. The picture God showed me for you was how you're in front of this door and you know that you need to get through this door. And so, but you don't have a key. So what you do, you you try to, okay, you make like this whole strategy. How are you going to take the door apart? You got like some, you, you got, yeah, you got all these tools. You're going to start there and then you're going to like take this whole door apart. But I just feel the Lord says, stretch out your hand and open the door. The door's unlocked for you. And I just feel the Lord says that I'm, I've made a way for you. You could just walk through. You don't have to make it so complicated. I just feel there's such a simplicity and power that God is giving through you. And I just see how um, God has called you to be a teacher. I just see um, the, there's like these young kids that you're going to pray for and love and be a mother to them. I, ju I just feel the Lord has given you such an anointing for that. And then lastly, I just see how you're reading and you're spending so much time with the Lord. And it's like that childlike faith. It's like, you know, when, when a parent reads a bedtime story to a child, and I just see how um, when you're reading the word or uh, just God is going to speak to you and that's going to build such hope and faith and fire in your hearts. God bless you. Good day, Mabina and Lawrence. God bless the two of you. I really believe that the Lord is breaking barrenness off of you. The Lord is just making you absolutely fruitful and productive in every area of your yes. life. God bless the two of you. Uh, so the next word is for Anna Marie. So Anna Marie, I see you at the um, ski resort where there's snow and it's very cold. And then the Lord gives you wonderful ski clothes with a ski jacket and that gloves. And now you're warm. And now you go on a beautiful scenic route uh, with God. And you're skiing. And you know how beautiful it is when you ski and you see nature. And, and you just uh, see something new. And you feel 
the rush of the speed and I just felt that is what God is going to do for you. He's going to make everything new in your life. He's going to cover you and protect you uh, but he's also going to show you new things and so you know when you're in the snow you can say oh it's very cold it's very bad or you can say wow it's so amazing that I can be and I can experience something new and so the Lord is also helping you to change your perception but he is protecting you. God bless you Anna-Marie. And Amiri, what I saw for you, God showed me also this picture of how he's like giving you a jersey. I saw like how the jersey represents his covering, his comfort. I, sh I felt like how God shows me like, like when a father comes and a... Uh, like a child comes and sits on the father's lap and you can just feel the father's presence and the father's covering and the father's safety around it and i just felt like our father says that he wants to give you that i feel like how god says he wants to take away loneliness and he wants to give you like his comfort he's he wants you to, he wants you just to to feel his presence and i just feel like our god shows me that you don't have to worry about tomorrow as well because he's already already giving you what you need i see like in each and every season how god is like showing me how it's like clothing you you know like in matthew 6 where god shows where he, where he says like he clothes the the lilies of the field and the the birds he gives the birds food to eat or stuff to eat. And I just felt like our God is saying that is what he's giving you as well. Be blessed. Thank you, Anna Marie, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. The next one is for Stephen. Stephen, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of an open door and you're like peeking into this door. Now you're putting a brick so that the door can't close and you want to move in. And the Lord says that is not the right mentality. You cannot be one foot in, one foot out. I just see how the Lord says it's a commitment that you need to make. And because of the commitment, the commitment will help and enable you to get the breakthrough because your mindset needs to change. It's not, if the Lord is giving you an, uh, a, uh, a breakthrough, it's going to be a breakthrough. It's not maybe going to be a breakthrough. It's not going to fail you. Put your trust in the Lord, not in your own abilities. And I just see when you do that, it is as if you are wondering, why didn't I do this a long time ago? Because now success starts to happen in your life. Be blessed. Amen. Stefan, the picture God showed me for you is so, so... Um, I saw this preacher and he started very, very low and he spoke very deep and he was very quiet and he spoke slow. But at the end of it, he was like screaming and everybody's screaming and it's like he's like shouting the word of God so passionately. But he built it. And, and, and then I... I had a piano lesson last week and we were discussing how you must start, if you want your highs to be great, you must start low and build that. And I just feel the Lord is really giving you that wisdom for when you minister to people, when you, when you, whether it's you speaking or I don't know if you, if you play, um, write music, but I just feel how the Lord says you are starting something like here, like 1%, 2%, but it's going to become so extravagant. And I just feel the Lord is really giving you um, the wisdom, like starting small, and it's going to be so beautiful. So I just feel how the Lord says, what you're going to do is going to be so extravagant, but you mustn't start at the high, you must build to it. So I, I hope this makes sense, but I just feel how you're going to build to something wonderful and it's going to touch so many people's lives. God bless you. Hey Stephen, uh, the Lord is also giving you just a breaker anointing in the area of business and I just see expansion. Uh, so when I started praying, I thought your, your ribs uh, were broken, you know, like when you fall and you, you break your ribs. But I then I just saw how the Lord was just expanding you and He's giving you more, more capacity and it's not always fun. Uh, when you when you grow but I felt that that's what the Lord is helping you with uh, so that you can go to the to the next level that he has for you God bless you um, Stephen all right so the next word is for Joshua so Joshua I see ministry growth business growth ministry growth business growth and I felt with the business growth that the Lord doesn't want you to be in a big controlling system but he wants you to be in a place of ownership and of a place where there's a lot of creativity and strategy in your in your growth with your finances and so i see a shift with your finances where you're going to feel you have more freedom and independence but you can also bring more strategy and creativity to it and then i felt the lord is going to open up doors with ministry and maybe uh, youth uh, but also the church but also in youth god bless you 
Uh, Joshua, when I saw for you, God showed me like you're this river and I saw like your river started to branch out in lots of smaller rivers. And then I found like how God shows me how at the end of the day, all of this small rivers and your river is like going to become combined and it's going to become one united river and then i felt like how all along your river and along the branches that uh, went out of the river god showed me how like everybody that stays close to the river or next to the river um everything that's living that's uh, uh touching your river or close to your river how they will be provided for i felt like how god showed me that the river that you're part of and the branches of your river is going to be very very fruitful be blessed hey awesome thank you family it was such was such a pleasure for us to minister to you uh, today uh, please write us a comment if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet uh, you can hit that subscribe button write me a little comment uh, i really love and appreciate each one of you have a fabulous day. God bless.